Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you Newton's three laws of motion and then sing you a little song to help you remember them. So we'll start with Newton's first law, which describes objects with balanced forces, which just means all the pushes and pulls on them cancel each other out. So here's, here's a good example. This, guy, this little guy is being pulled towards the earth by gravity, but he's being pushed up by my hand. So overall, the forces are cancelled. And well, what happens to him? Let's have a look. Well, not a lot is the answer to that. Uh, and in fact, Newton's first law states that if an object has balanced forces, then its speed won't change. Well, he started off not moving and he carried on not moving. And look, he's still not moving. But what if you've got a moving object with balanced forces? This actually doesn't happen too much uh, in, in our experience because most objects that are moving have air resistance on them. Um, but well, if we imagine an object in space where there's little gravity around, there's no air for air resistance, and let's say I throw this guy in space, well, he'd carry on moving and there'd be nothing to slow him down, so he'd just keep moving in the same direction forever. So let's talk about Newton's second law, which describes what happens with unbalanced forces. Well, we'll start with balanced forces and I'll take the support force away and we'll do an experiment and see what happens. He accelerated towards the Earth. So Newton's second law states that when forces are unbalanced, then the object will speed up in the direction of the force because weight was the force acting and that was acting downwards. He sped up downwards. Now it says something a bit more specific. It says if I doubled the force, he'd speed up twice as much. So if the Earth was twice as big, he'd have twice as much weight and he would have fallen and his rate, uh, the rate at which his speed was changing towards the Earth would be twice as much. So Newton's third law is an interesting one because it describes the relationship between the two objects in the force. Any force has two objects in it. So in this case, we had the Earth and we had the man. Now, the man we know was pulled towards the Earth because we saw it. But what we couldn't see quite so clearly was that the man was pulling the earth up towards him. So, why couldn't we see it? Well, even though the force was exactly the same size, he's a lot smaller than the earth. So when he gets pulled towards the earth, he speeds up quite quickly. But when the earth's pulled towards him, it barely speeds up at all. In fact, even with our most sensitive instruments, we couldn't even measure that. Um, but we can, we can see Newton's third law in motion uh, more normally. Let's say if you were on ice skates uh, and you uh, had a buddy on ice skates too and you pushed against them, you would both move away from each other because the same force would be pushing the two of you away from each other. OK, well, that's Newton's three laws explained. I say we sing about them now. So, uh, I call this song Isaac Newton, one, two, three. A force is just a push or pull, there's many types we're knowing. A force can change an object's shape, its speed or where it's going. Newton found three laws that will describe this completely. That's Newton 1, that's Newton 2, and of course, that's Newton 3. Newton 1 describes how any object might behave. When all its forces balance out in each and every way It's either staying still or moving at a steady rate In the same direction till the forces on it change It means that if I threw a ball in space it'll fly up endlessly That one's known as Newton 1, now here comes 2 and 3 Newton 2 describes how motion changes with a force Know instinctively it changes speed or changes course. Bigger objects need a bigger push to make them move. And if the force is double, acceleration doubles too. Or F equals M A, you could say mathematically. That one's known as Newton 2. Now here comes Newton 3. Newton 3 
describes the fact that forces come in twos And when you push upon a thing, it pushes back on you Always directly opposite and always the same size It's the reason that momentum is conserved when things collide Means I'm pulling up the earth as much as it pulls down on me And that one's known as Newton's third and sometimes Newton three so if all your forces balance, you'll maintain velocity. That's Newton one. Acceleration and force applied increase proportionally. That one's Newton two. For every force, an equal one will act opposingly. I think you know which one that is. That's Newton one and that's Newton two and of course that's Newton three.